We're covering Colorado first at six tonight. Another tuberculosis scared a local school this time. Denver health authorities say one student is recovering from TB at Metro State University, but more than 100 people could have been exposed. And this comes almost a month after all the students at staff at Aurora Hills Middle School were tested for that disease. Health officials now say no other students or staff contracted TB at Aurora Hills. Tori Mason found out more about the Metro State case joins us now tonight to talk a little more about it. Tori. Well, guys, while TB is not common in Colorado, Denver Health says this case at MSU is completely unrelated to the TB diagnosed in the Aurora Middle School we reported on last month. Now, doctors say the person here is feeling much better, but there is a chance he could have spread it to other people. Now, a person on campus was recently diagnosed with active tuberculosis. We weren't told if it was a student or faculty member, but this person is receiving treatment and is no longer on campus. The university has notified around 150 people who may have been exposed during the last few months. Health officials do not anticipate they'll have active TB. I asked Denver Health if the infected person is known to frequent other places in the area, and their answer so far is no. They'll start looking into more locations if enough of those 150 people tested come up positive. It's likely some will, but they didn't necessarily get it on campus. The number of people who are infected with latent TB in Colorado in general, uh, we estimate to be around three to five percent. So we wouldn't wouldn't surprise us at all if of 150 students we find a couple kids are positive. If on the other hand we find 10 or 15 kids or faculty who have a positive test, then we're going to assume that some transmission took place in the school. Probably should have let everybody know while we were here in school and on campus, you know, when everybody's in full attendance, not during spring break. Not a lot of people are paying attention to stuff like that right now. Now, MSU students and faculty are encouraged to check their email and voicemail to ensure they aren't one of the individuals recommended to get testing. Now, health officials say students and faculty in general do not have a reason to be worried. We're live at MSU, Tori Mason covering Colorado first.